Uh, street lighting. We have an increase of uh, 2.29. 2.29. Uh, 2.33 percent on street lights. Uh, it's an overall increase of 2.29 percent in the total budget. There's, there's one section with zero, so that knocks it down a little bit. Uh, we've been doing a lot of extensive research on street lighting, and uh, we've resulted in, 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 in trimming that cost down over what it would have been. Uh, you can see at one point we were at 215. Um, the rates do change. Uh, we're on a aluminum basis rate. Uh, the town owns all the aluminum poles in certain sections of the town are owned by the town, including the, the luminaire arms and the luminaires on the end of them. Um, and we are responsible for the maintenance of those. Uh, we are responsible for the payment of energy costs for the rest of the street lights in the community. Plus, we have three sections of town-owned street lights in the community. Uh, you got Church Street, you got Highland, and you've got uh, the Ashworth A and B Street area. Uh, those are all town lights. Um, we have had the utility company take down their overhead high lumen lights, which sit on top of the poles when we put those new street lights in. Uh, the new street lights, I think, provide more light than the overhead aluminum uh, uh, cross arms do, uh, or luminaires do. Um, but we had to pay to take those down. They don't discontinue street lighting, which has a 20 year life without some amortization return. So there was a cost to take those down. But that cost has now been absorbed. And uh, we're looking to, to continue to decrease some of these costs. Uh, we found a num number of errors in the street lighting bills from UNITEL, and they're working closely with us to straighten those out. Uh, we have a multi-thousand dollar refund coming from them. And uh, some, some lights have been on a uh, uh, a meter. Some lights have been uh, on the lumen rate, which is just you add up the number of uh, kilowatts used, and it, it's it's built on on a day rate, um, depending on the number of uh, dark hours during the day or a lumen rate. Um, we found that some of the ones that are on meters shouldn't be there, so that will lower our expense, and they're in the process of changing that and putting them on the regular street lighting rate. So we're working to try to get this down. Uh, We'd like to get it down lower than two hundred thousand dollars, but it's going to take a while to do that. So the projection right now is uh, for two hundred and twenty thousand eighteen dollars for the coming year, and four thousand dollars for uh, for traffic light repairs. Again, we're working on that with the uh, the utility company. Um, all the repairs dealing with traffic lights. Uh, any changes we need, uh, other than things we recover from accidents by uh, individuals who hit the poles or of that nature, uh, are all come out of this one account. And they're basically monitored by the fire department and they assign the work out to be done to the various vendors that need to do it. So $4,000 is a small, that's a 0% increase, smallest we can come up with. We did um, put some visual uh, traffic monitoring devices at uh, High Street and uh, Exeter Road and, and Lafayette Road, which seems to have smoothed out the traffic flow in that area. Uh, we don't have to worry about the wires that have been underneath the street. Those are gone. They're not connected anymore. And they have to be replaced on a regular basis, so that's going to save us a significant amount of money. And we're looking at doing the same thing in several other locations as time goes on. Any questions? Is um, so. Does the electrical rate have much to do with the increase? A little bit. Um, the biggest problem with uh, the electric rates is fuel adjustment charges. Those fuel charges go up and down depending on where the power is purchased from. Um, Unit Unitel doesn't produce any power; they purchase all their power, so it comes in on the grid. And depending on where that purchase comes from, in other words, where is the power available at the time they need it, uh, has an effect upon the, uh, the the cost per kilowatt hour for fuel adjustment charges. And depending on what they buy, for instance, if they're buying power that's made from coal, the fuel adjustment charge is, is low. 
If it's made from gas or oil, uh, it's up. If it's made from nuclear, it's, it's low. So it depends on, we don't get any power from the nuclear plant next door. None of that power goes to New Hampshire. And how often do we pay the bill? We build monthly. And was it always that way? Yes. So it has nothing to do with how they increase the... Uh... It does have to do with rate increases, uh, and that they periodically come along. There hasn't been a rate increase now in a couple of years. Um, but it's the lumen cost, or the cost per kilowatt hour uh, for electricity uh, bounces around depending upon what you use. For instance, in this building, we're on a demand meter. So let's say we demand 10 kilowatt hours of electricity in a 15 or 30 minute incremental period. That sets a demand on the, on, the, on the demand meter. If we were to shut the building off completely, no one used it, we shut it down, the power was turned off, we'd still pay 80% of that cost for the next 11 months because we're on a demand meter. So we have to be very careful about how we use power so that we don't turn everything on at once to get a huge high demand, and that, that's, that's a problem for departments to, to try to live through and administer. The lower we can keep the demand, the lower our bills are. And we're trying constantly to manage those functions so that we don't have higher bills. So how often is the demand looked at? The demand is looked at on the billing once a month, but it can be incremented every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, or every hour, depending on the, on, on the meter. So, I mean, how often it is, is, it, is it adjusted? Well, the demand is reset every month, so you get, a new, you get a new demand figure every single month. And you look at the high demand, and that's you got to pay at least 80% of that on a regular basis. So it's, you're captive to the system. Uh, that demand is to cover um, costs that have been built into the system for uh, standby power. So when you need it, it's there. It's the same way for uh, business, and I'm probably exactly. even residential, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, residential, well, you'd have to be a pretty big residence to get a demand meter. But, um, it does afford them an opportunity to, to recover uh, those costs and not have the huge stranded costs they used to have, for, at least for the base load. It, it's an important function in the billing demand. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Negative, sir. No, no. Good. If some town's gone LED total on there. On street lights? Yeah. And save um, a considerable amount of money after the... You can, but you have to retrofit them, and that's our expense. So we could be talking, and I have, we, we have not asked them for that because we were told that would be a substantial expense. Um, it re means re refitting every single, or even replacing every single one of the overhead fixtures. And that's, that's quite involved. We've been yeah. looking for that in our own street lights that we own, and we have not been able to come down with a cost that would be beneficial to the town yet. But we still are out in the market looking for that. Okay. Thank you. One thing I was going to you, you talk, look at traffic light repairs. I mean, in 15, we spent 15000 and in uh, half of 16, we spent 6000 We're continuing yeah. to ask for 4000 And to Jim's point he just made uh, a number of years ago I know we went turn, went to some of um, LED lights on yes. our traffic lights yeah. and those had about a 10 year lifespan and I know they're, they're over 10 years now um, should we should we address some more money in that to to continue with an LED program of continuing to turn as as our traffic lights start to burn out should we replace them with LEDs and save the savings on the electrical? We can. There's no question about it. We haven't put those figures in because we haven't had them. Um, you could start out with a program to replace them. I think we need to do two, two things with traffic lights. One is to go to LED. The other one is to go to a, an overhead visual system as opposed to keep on repairing these underground wires that, that have to be replaced every so many years. And that's a very expensive operation to dig the street up and put the wires in. Could could we get some sort of price sure. on, on happy to. what we could do on some of those LED lights if we if yeah. we got to put it in? It's going to save us in the long run on, on the electrical and the meters if we if we slow you know even question. if we converted one over at a time yeah. to uh, 
to LEDs versus because there are our lights anyway, so we're the right. ones that have to do that. Yeah. So that would be my question if, if we could find out. Happy, for to, that. happy to get those figures. See if that would. Not a problem there. So.